more offensive. The flag, the fact that um, this flag, I actually made that flag into, into the game, or they exist, or the fact that I'm playing them and trying to kill the USA. Anyways, like I said, I will be playing uh, the Confederated States of America against the United States of America. This will surely be a legendary battle. If I'm crazy enough, I will play Spain. If this video gets 5 likes, I'll play Spain, the Spanish Empire, which actually from zero divisions. Now, as the Confederated States of America, we have 6 factories. Uh oh. Uh, but we do still have advantage since we have more divisions than the, uh, the entire US because um, they, they are very big and their divisions are scattered everywhere. The most of the divisions are actually up north to defend against the British and uh, also some, some, some of them down south. So as you see here, there's no divisions in Oklahoma and there's probably no divisions in these regions either. I realize how bad at the uh, geography I am at US states. I have no idea which states border the USA. A uh, state I'm sure they border USA is Texas, uh, Kentucky, uh, Tennessee, uh, Virginia, and then that's all. That's all that I know about border the USA. Uh, it's pretty it's really bad. But remember, they all look like this. A bloody square. Actually, that's quite untrue. Because the states that look like a square in this, um, in this glorious map are the states in the west. Instead, the states in the east looks like what they're doing in Okay, my war on the US of A is um, ready, but um, I'm not going to declare war yet because, um, first of all, they had a faction in the Spanish Empire, El Salvador, and themselves. Um, and also, my division are not uh, very well trained yet. They still don't know how to shoot a gun, and better yet, they can't even read. If I want to fight the US of A, I must join a faction and then kick everyone, uh, kick everyone out. And now, I will kick the Spanish Empire out of the faction, and also I will also kick El Salvador, which is here, out of the faction too. And with this, the US of A is only left with me as an ally, which um, was more odd, the fact that I am in the faction of the USA, or the fact that I can read. Well, it's quite sad really, such beautiful things as uh, me being a faction of the USA, so sad really. Such things, such beautiful things have to end. You know, uh, having this, uh, I think after that emotional speech, just starting, just starting to remind me of country humans. If you don't know what that is, uh, you're lucky you don't you don't know what that. Oh come on, you're lucky you don't know what that is. But uh, if you do know what if you do know what that is, you just you just know how much shipping there is, and um, yeah, it's quite horrifying. With me being in a faction of the USA with Mr. Abraham Lincoln. There are some provinces in the USA, like Colorado, with no divisions inside, and I have to take, because if I don't take, no, they won't catch you, but then also, Wyoming is, um, well, they don't exist. Uh-oh, I'm starting to run out of guns. This, um, uh-oh. And also, the northern front is, um, basically failing me, since I'm already being outnumbered up there. Uh-oh, indeed. But hey, look at that glorious map. I just called um, the, you know, I just called the Dixies glorious, also then the Alliance of Free Nations. How ironic. But uh, also, I look like a piece of bologna splattered on the ocean, or blueberry. Uh, currently, I'm doing not bad, but um, in my universe of not bad, things are not going actually pretty well. It's not going well, mainly due to the fact that I failed my objective to um, basically crush the US. Uh, USA's ability to make a bajillion factories, therefore a bajillion units. So now my uh, objective is to capture the northern part or New England part of um, the US of A. Uh, with this, this will shorten my front line and I can pull more troops to fight uh, this because it's barely funded here. And guess who just declared war on America? Why? After so much grinding in the West, now you're showing a part of you, you know. Because I am basically God, I'm saying that as I'm finding this flag, uh, I would demand New Mexico off of Mexico because um, we can't have two Mexico. They must be New Mexico and Mexico, and both of those territories cannot be inside the same territory. So therefore, New Mexico, New Mexico, New Mexico is mine, and if they dare take it, I'll take your soul. And look who also joined in the good old fun of beating up the Americans. 
That's right, it's a good old TikTok tally how British. Um, I am very thankful of their involvement as well, but I, if they do take New, New England, I'll, I'll, also, I'll also eat your soul off. You know, America, I mean, declaring more Mexico isn't, isn't the best idea you have. I know they declare war in Mexico, or uh, technically any Allied member, because the USA is, every, is at war for every single Allied member. So, um, that's a plus me too. So, uh, yeah. Things didn't go very well for the good old Americans. Oh, you thought the USCS alliance was cursed? Oh, until you see this. We have the, miss, the missing uh, long tail of Alaska missing. This, uh, miss, missing island here. Uh, also, Mexico owns British Columbia with uh, you. And also, um, the British are in Canada and also the Americans are invading Canada. And also, Shangri-Wan. And also, uh, most of the homeland is actually being occupied by the CSA. And that's a truly cursed images. I have to truly take a, take a screenshot of this and post it on my fridge. That's right, myself. Take a picture, take a screenshot, and then hang it up on the wall and tell how great of a job, I, uh, great of a job I've done. Okay, just because I was curious, I uh, went on and look who, uh, who uh, Mr. Mexico is at war with. They are a war of the United States, Spanish Empire, and the United Kingdom. Uh, this will explain a lot of things up here, but um, still not enough to tell me what the hell is going on. Looks like the British are actually failing pretty bad. Um, I would make a fun of them, but uh, I wouldn't because, uh, you know, the only reason why I should got pushed back in the first place was because I uh, failed to control these territories, which was which had a lot of American garrisons there. So. Uh, Actually, not, not a bad job, Britain. Not a uh, fighting there, it's just, you still suck at fighting here. Yeah? I mean, to be fair, it's a barren wasteland, but um, good job for helping me, not able to, uh, for uh, avoiding me, from avoiding me to fight the British, to fight the Americans. And uh, I may or may not have gone a little bit extreme in my adventures, and I may or may not um, invaded Canada there a little bit there. Uh, sorry about the Canada, but um, don't worry. Uh, you won't exist any much longer. I mean, to be fair, you don't even exist in this, in this uh, stage. It's 1861, and you are Britain. The best thing about this is the fact that um, America is actually not satisfied um, getting defeated. They're not surrendering. They're literally pushing back the Mexicans. And also, uh, Mexico is in northern Canada. Don't question why, don't question how. They also own the West Coast. Don't question how, don't question why. And there we go. Through that, um, helping with my Mexican friend, I've gained a piece of land. Alberta. <laughs> and now, border go is absolutely disgusting because remember, Canadian provinces are just like American provinces, but just bigger. So that means they're also rectangles, just this. Oh no, are way more recognisable. 